I'm going to show you how to tie a three-way rig for walleye. First you're going to need your leader material of choice. I'm using this bright green line just for demonstration, but I would recommend that you use fluorocarbon in most situations because it's pretty much invisible underwater. Then you're going to need a three-way swivel. You can also tie this rig with a regular swivel, but you're going to have to make two connections in one of these eyes. When you have a three-way swivel, you only have to make one connection per eye. So this rig can be fished with a number of different baits. Most commonly is probably these large crankbaits. You're going to want to use the floating type with a small bill. You don't want this bait dragging into the bottom. You want it to stay suspended off the bottom. If your crankbait comes with these split rings, then you can tie this directly to the rig. But if not, you're going to need one of these snap rings. This will make the action of the bait a lot more lively. Last, you just need your lead weights of choice. This is going to vary greatly depending on current you're fishing in and the depth. Okay, so first we're going to tie the dropper section of this rig. The dropper section holds your weight and you can actually tie this with a lot lighter line. That way if your sinker gets snagged, you just break the line and instead of losing your whole rig, you only lost the weight. So we're going to start tying the dropper section by tying a large loop. I always use a figure eight knot for these. Simply go around the back, draw a figure eight around the line. Pull tight, and there is your figure eight knot. The idea behind this loop is that you just fold it over and pass it through your lead, and then pass the lead back through the loop and pull tight. And that gives you a really quick way to be able to change the weight you're using. The dropper section on this rig only has to be about a foot long, so I'm gonna pull about a foot of line off, cut it off, and then we attach this free end to one eye on our three-way swivel. So I'll demonstrate a quick uni knot to attach it to the swivel. Pass the line through, fold it over, create a loop, and then pass your tag end through this loop. Then you just cinch it tight, and that is a uni knot to complete your first swivel connection. Okay, so we're going to take another piece of leader material and attach it to one of these other eyes. Now this section has to be relatively long, three to five feet is a good starting point. You can adjust and see what works best for you. So we're going to pull a few feet of line. Now on this longer line is where you attach your crankbait or your split ring. Just to switch it up, I'll show you a quick clinch knot. So what we're going to do is pass the line through and you just spin it six or seven times. Pass the tag end through this loop and then pass it back through this other loop that that created. Well, this is actually called the improved clinch knot. Then we just pull tight, and there's your clinch knot. And at this split ring is where you would attach your crankbait, like so. At this point, you should only have one ring remaining on your three-way swivel, and this gets attached to your main line on your rod. Okay, so for your completed three-way rig for walleye, you've got your dropper loop with a sinker that you adjust depending on the depth and current you're fishing. That's about one foot long, connected to one eye on the three-way. Then off another eye on the three-way, you've got a longer section of line attached to a snap ring and your crankbait. Make sure this is a floating crank with a small bill. And then your last eye gets attached to your main line, connected to your rod. 